Hey everyone, thank you for stopping by. Today I'm going to clean the Bev Black & Decker Cocktail Maker. I decided to clean this earlier and I hadn't seen a, a video online of this process, so I thought I would share my experience with you. It is a fairly lengthy process. If you have, if you have one of these, you know that uh, right now it should have bottles on it and it does not. So the first part of the cleaning is to remove all the bottles as well as the straws. Uh, I went ahead and ran the straws to the dishwasher. Uh, it does say in the instructions that they're dishwasher safe if you put them on the top shelf and they came out looking clean to me so i think they're good to go i went ahead and put the bottle back on the water bottle and snapped it into place as you can see i have five glasses of water that we are going to use for cleaning so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go ahead and set those up you set those up just like you would your bottle of liquor and uh and then we'll see if it see if it works see if it cleans it so we're all set have the water containers uh, with the straws in them. Each of them has around two, in two ounces of water. You're also going to need a glass there that will capture the water and you need it to be able to hold around 10 ounces of water. Put this down and according to the instructions there is a switch on the back that we want to hold down for six seconds. If you have one of these it's right here right where the light switch is right beside the light switch actually. So we're going to hold that down for six seconds and see what happens. Uh-oh, something's happening. There we go. It's working. So if you're familiar with this machine, you know that that sound means your drink is made. However, this time it is just simply cleaning. And we'll just wipe that out, the water out. I'm going to take the cups out of there, put the bottles back in the way it's supposed to be. And we'll try it out and make sure that it works. So there we have it. All the bottles are back in place. The machine is back on its bar stand. So let's make a drink and see if it works we're gonna go with an old-fashioned one of my favorites what's your favorite drink to make with this i like using jack daniels whiskey in it too just for me it's my personal favorite this uh this pod holder is pretty cool i bought it off of amazon i think it was around 40 bucks or so i'll put a link down below but it holds uh, 45 maybe of the capsules, which is really handy. All right, let's close it up. Push the button. We're going to go for medium. Mix it. Let's see what happens. There you have it. Works perfectly. One thing these, about these machines, they are kind of notorious for, for leaking, dripping. So when you take it off, if you use a low ball glass like this, when you take it off, oftentimes it will drip down and you kind of have to wipe it off. So just kind of be aware of that. If you have this machine, you already know that, but that is just something that tends to happen all the time. There you go. You saw it drip there. Uh, anyway, thank you all for watching. Really appreciate it. Hopefully this helped you out. Have a great day. We'll talk soon.